On the 16th of June, 1951, SS Andrea Doria was launched for the Italian line. However, she was not completed. It would take another year to complete her in 1952, the same year that the SS United States was launched for a United States line. But that may be another topic for another video. Anyways, back to the Andrea Doria. Andrea Doria left Genoa, Italy on the 17th of July, heading towards New York. Sometime during the last days of Andrea Doria's voyage to New York, a, another ship, smaller than the Andrea Doria, the MS Stockholm of the Swedish America Line, was heading towards Gothenburg, Sweden. The ship was 160 meters long. Andrea Doria was 214 meters long, or 700 feet. Andrea Doria weighed 29,093 tons. On the 25th of July, 1956, the Andrea Doria had entered into heavy fog. The Stockholm was, which was in the Nantucket shells, as well as Andrea Doria, they both had fog, but Stockholm didn't encounter the fog yet. It was still in clear skies, but once the fog came in, the radars were their only hope of seeing each other and not colliding. However, due to the actions that both ships took, the Andrea Doria turning hard to port, which means to the left, or right, according to tiller commands, and the Stockholm going to starboard, or left, according to tiller commands. The two would eventually collide due to not knowing the proper distances between the two ships. May have, one of the causes may have been that both radios were due from different countries, so they didn't, were not applied to the same setting. The two ships collided. Stockholm collided into Andrea Doria and forced itself almost halfway into, the sh into Andrea Doria's hull. 46 people died in the collision, but no more would die after due to a crazy long sinking of Andrea Doria and a crazy helpful rescue. Some of, when Stockholm realized that it was in no immediate danger, the tanks of, on the forward bow that were left of the Stockholm were released and the ship came to a level water line. The ship then would ferry its lifeboats between the Andrea Doria and the Stockholm, but nothing was really done of much use until the Ile de France arrived. A massive ship, which was French, one of the largest ships at the time, on the route. It would overshadow the Andrea Doria and passengers on board would be happy to see that hope was there. Eventually, the Andrea Doria sank early next morning on the 26th at 10 a.m. Even the captain was ab abandoned the Andrea Doria. The Ewood of France arrived at night and would have to return back to New York to refuel, as the Ile de France had already been sailing towards its destination. The Ile de France illuminated the entire scene and was a big help. Other ships also arrived, but Ile de France was the main ship. 
the Andrea Doria had a slow decay over 60 years. However, I believe today is the 65th anniversary of Andrea Doria's sinking. The Stockholm stayed afloat and was repaired, and to this day is still running after 72 or 3 years. A crazy thing to happen is the oldest ship to still be running. However, sometime during the 2000s, or even 1990s, there was a big overhaul which made it unrecognizable and was renamed MV Astoria and had other renamings too. But its current name, I believe, is the MV Astoria, a single funneled cruise ship which is unrecognizable to the Stockholm of 1948. Stockholm was 160 meters.